All right, welcome back everybody to Subsistence. I'm an old guy gaming and we just caught ourselves a pike. So that'll give us two fillets and two oil. Gotta get a little closer to grab it. Look at that, nice. Okay, um, so I spent an, uh, an entire day uh, just, you know, out looting and grinding. Nothing um, camera worthy happened. We went fishing, got a couple small fish and then, um, you know, got more nails and stuff like that. We have enough to make another um, uh, foundation, which I've already done. Uh, so let's get these two fillets on the fire now. And I turned the two small fish into oil because I, you know, uh, killed enough rabbits and chickens to where I didn't need to it. So we have seven oil there. Once we get nine, then we can, we should be able to make our first antibiotic um, medicine in case, you know, we get nailed by a freaking wolf, which I'm sure we will. Uh, all right, so uh, let's let's put a little bit more wood on the fire just to keep it going for now. Um, but I, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be pretty conservative here with this, and um, that's probably about all I'm going to put on there. We have another uh, uh, two more fire starters made, so those are good to go when the time comes. I still have 11 boards and eight nails left, even after we place our next foundation, which we are going to do. Uh, here. So just got to get the damn thing to snap in there. Come on. There you go. And we'll put the, the last foundation here and then we'll start working on walls and stuff. I'm going to put a stairwell uh, either down here on this side or maybe on this side. Yeah, probably on this side once we, you know, get to that point. Uh, but for now, we're just using this little spot to uh, enter the base. Cool. Okay, let's take our fish fillets off of there. That's going to give us some nice protein. Um, and gets us almost all the way to the top. It does get us all the way to the top. Look at that. Hot darn. Okay, that's great. Um, all right, so let's put this stuff back in here. I'm going to... Um, can we make another wall? We, we're two nails shy of another wall. Well, oh, we could make the stairs, though. Yeah, why don't we do that? Let's make the stairs right now. And we'll put those in place right here. And then that's done. And then, you know, at this point, guys, it's the same old, same old. We go out and loot more crates, chop more trees, pick more uh, plant fibers and whatever else we can find. Look at that. I got some matches. Nice. We'll take them. All right. Let's put our stairs up here. Can I jump up on those? Yeah. Okay. We might put another one in place uh, too at some point but that's not a high priority right now we just got to get the real essential stuff in uh, essential stuff in for the moment okay so we're doing pretty good as you can see i also made myself um a storage chest so we're going to put stuff in there that we don't need to take out and about with us let's um oh wait we got 17 nails my bad okay well that means we should be able to make another foundation Hot darn. Okay, so I didn't, yeah, I forgot I had those. Now we're going to take the remaining five nails and we're going to just make some more arrows with those. Um, so cool, that'll finish off our foundations. So we are making progress, ladies and gentlemen. We are making progress. Okay, let's craft um, some more arrows with that. And we will put this foundation in like so. Excellent. Okay, so now, of course, we'll start working on walls. Now, the walls uh, are a little bit cheaper. I think they only require 12 nails instead of 15. Is that what it is? Two, two, two. Or 10 nails. The foundations require 12. Okay, so a little cheaper. So we're going to keep working on walls and, you know, get the walls and the ceiling in place. And once that's done, then we will do the BCU because then we'll have an enclosed place. I'll make a hammer, and even if we're not really capable of, of fighting the hunters right away at least we can keep the building repaired until they go away because they they'll they'll come and they'll attack for a little while and then they'll bugger off if if you don't fight them um and even if you do fight them uh okay so that gets us updated at this point in time so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna harvest these trees again if they've reset they haven't yet okay because i harvested them a little bit before i brought you guys uh, back so I'm going to cut the camera here and go out and about and do the, the usual. And I'll bring you guys back with an update here in a little while. All right, guys, we're back. It's later in the day. Uh, I just had a really good hunting trip. Um, so we basically killed three rabbits, two chickens, and um, three of those critters are still alive. Uh, one thing we're going to do 
now is we're going to set up an animal trap uh, and put it on our island. I'm assuming it'll work on the island. And uh, that way, you know, we can have that working for us as well as all the hunting that we're doing. And I think we have enough materials to make another wall, perhaps, too. We'll take a look when we get back. Uh, but yeah, not a bad little trip overall. I, I moved north towards the Central Valley, but I didn't get that far, um, you know, because I did grab so many critters. I didn't want to stay out too much longer. And besides, it's, this is a good time to get back anyways because the sun is setting. Okay, so let's start our fire here. Um, put some wood in it first, and that's the oldest meat. Then this will be the next one, and then this will be the next one. So we'll get that cooking up. While that's going on, let's go ahead and make our animal trap here. So that just requires sticks and cordage, and we're going to use the apple and or the blueberries for the, uh, for the bait. And we'll go ahead and just put this kind of out on the center of the island right now. Uh, I've... In my previous playthrough, I, I built a couple of traps and put them right by my front door and they still work. So you don't really have to have them a certain distance away. Uh, not in my experience anyways. Okay, so let's just put this right here and then um, we're gonna put an apple in as bait. And as long as this uh, green check mark is there, then that means you're good. And these are all the items here that you can use as bait. Okay, so we'll let that work for us. While we're out and about here, um, let's just grab a couple of uh, fibers. I don't want to get too far away from the fire um, so our stuff doesn't burn. Uh, but we'll harvest this tree and the other one closer to the base and then we'll go back and get our food. And we'll be in really good shape for protein. And then we'll see if we can make the next building piece. So progress is, is pretty good. For this game, I can't complain. We're doing okay so far. Okay, so let's grab all of that off of there and then um, put the two more rabbit meats on there. Okay, let's eat the rabbit and the two chickens and that'll probably get us pretty close to the top. The other two I'll save and have those for breakfast. We're going to eat, well actually I think I want to save the blueberries for, for bait. Of course we can also use medicinal herbs if we have to. Let's take the medicinal herbs that we currently have and make um, a couple of these. Oh, we can make three. Okay, good. That's how many we need to make the antibiotic, but we can't actually make it until we get a liver. Uh, so, But we'll at least have the three medicinal tonics ready to go when the inevitable time comes that we get infected. Let's put all the rest of this stuff in here for now. Uh, we're up to six cloth, which is good. Uh, we want to start thinking about making some clothing here. Uh, in fact, we can actually make the shirt now uh, with that six cloth. What else do we need cloth for, though? Um, we need to make a, a repair hammer. So, yeah, I, you know, because it's it's late spring, early summer, you know, cold is not an issue. I know that the clothing helps us, you know, with armor, too. But let's just uh, sit on our cloth for now and not... Uh, turn it into anything quite yet okay so we got four of these I think I'll hang on to the medicinal uh, plants for now we're gonna eat these for breakfast so um, we'll hang on to those and then let's see I want to make another fire starter just so we always have one on hand so let's make some sticks here once we do that, we'll take a look at the next building uh, piece that we need to make. Okay, how are you doing? This campfire is getting close to breaking, too. You can see the cracks on it, so it's not going to last too much longer. Let's get our light out so you guys can see a little bit better. Um, okay, so next up is another wall piece. So let's craft that, and then that's all we'll be able to do until we get some more nails. How much does it cost to make a door? Oh, we could make the door now and just store it. But, nah, I, w I don't think we need to do that right now. Okay, so let's put that in there. We've got the, uh, the fire starter for when this guy goes out. Um, I'm going to keep this fire stoked, though. Let's split this in half 
and um, pull one more off of here. Put these this wood back in here, and we'll turn the remaining wood that we have into planks. Plus, I have some more wood that I can harvest here on the island, too. Okay, we need a little bit of carbs, so why don't we split this in half and eat all of these, and that should get our carbs up pretty good. We might as well drink two, and then we can uh, redo the water here. And then I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go cut the rest of the wood here on the island, and then I'm just gonna fish until morning. Uh, but and that's partly why I want to keep this fire going, uh, so that if we do catch a, a big fish, we can plop it right down on the fire. Let's make some more cordage too. And um, then we're going to need to make some of these. So let's grab some grubs out of here. Uh, we'll take maybe, we'll make maybe four tackles. We'll, it just depends upon how the fishing goes. Um, I want some more cordage here too. And then, yeah, I'm going to go, I'm going to just keep those nails in there for the moment. I'm going to go cut uh, some more wood, make some tackle and fish. And then I'll bring you guys back in the morning um, and then we'll figure out what our next move is. So see you in a bit. All right, guys, I am back. Um, so have some bad news. And uh, that bad news is that, as I unfortunately do more often than I should, I thought I was recording when I wasn't. And when I thought I was recording, I was killed by a wolf. So we ha now have... This thing doesn't seem to be working over here. Maybe, maybe I do need to move it. Um, we now have one death on our hands. Um, it happened during a storm, and I, I did not hear the wolf at all. And that's what makes the storms so dangerous in this game is because most, uh, a lot of times, I should say, you rely on, <coughs> excuse me, the zoom type. You rely upon hearing, you know, to, to hear if there's an animal around. <clears throat> and I just could not hear it. And, um, yeah, we, uh, we bit the dust. So that's unfortunate, but it does happen in the game. And I'm sorry I didn't catch it on camera. It was unintentional. Uh, but, you know, that's what happens sometimes. All right, let's kill these guys, butcher them. Um, I'm going to save this stuff. Let's eat this. We're doing reasonably well on carbs and not actually too bad on protein either. Um, you know what? Actually, let's go ahead and eat these two blueberries too, and we'll save the carrots for the trap if it ever actually works. Um, it, I have usually w would have caught something by now, so I'm starting to think maybe the trap doesn't work on the island or it's too close to the base, though. That was never a problem for me in season one so something's weird there but we'll give it a little more time and if nothing happens then we'll end up moving the trap further away or maybe on over onto the mainland or something anyway um so yeah that's kind of sucked you know that we that we died but we did so we just pick up and move on so it basically spawned me way up into the north let's eat all of that right now and get these guys cooking uh, if we look at our map um, I, it spawned me way up here and then, so I had to run back. Uh, but on the way back, I was able to, to do some looting. So it wasn't a total loss. Um, and then, you know, we lost some ammo, I think, and our canteen and probably a couple of other items that I can't remember. So, um, and this is, uh, wait a minute. What am I doing? Yeah. So, so we got the one death there just to show you that. Okay. Anyway, we are otherwise doing pretty well. We should have enough stuff. Uh, actually, have 48 nails. Yeah, that's ooh, that's a lot of nails. <laughs> I uh, didn't realize I had that many already. So that's that's really good. So that means we can make you know a couple more house pieces. Uh, so what I want to do is let's make another window, and we're gonna put that window here. So if we're attacked from this side, we can fight out there. And I'm debating whether or not I should window up either one of these walls or just keep them solid. It depends upon if the hunters will attack directly from the water. I have no idea if they will. But the thing is, is like I said before, you don't want to have too many windows, especially in a small house, because then it just provides more places for them to lob a grenade in and, and damage your other stuff. Um, so anyway, we are doing really good on protein now. I think I'm going to save both of these for the time being. Let's put all this other stuff in here, too. Oh, we need to turn... Um, I want to save... No, actually, here's what we're going to do. Let's make another fire starter first, just so we have an, a backup uh, fire starter. 
Uh, looks like it wants two. Uh, two sticks. So... Oh, you know what? I guess I fed all my wood into there, didn't I? Okay, that's fine. Let's go get some wood from this tree here. Got a couple other things here we can loot as well, so let's grab those. Uh, sticks. So make one thing of sticks, and then we'll make another fire starter so we have a couple. All right, while we're waiting for that, let's go ahead and harvest the rest of the trees on the island and loot anything else that may have spawned in. Okay, so now we're going to turn uh, the rest of this uh, fiber into, or plant fiber into uh, uh, cordage. And then we're going to make some more stuff. Oh, I also made a hammer here too, as you can see. <clears throat> and once we get, you know, our little two by two built and covered and all that, then then we're gonna do the BCU and then it'll be on with the hunters like a couple of days later. So overall, I'm pretty happy with our progress and um, can't complain too much in spite of the you know the untimely death that we had. Uh, okay, while we're waiting, let's. Uh, Organize a couple things here, put all that stuff in there. We're going to keep those in our inventory for now. And we're going to also need to make some more planks. So we need four more walls and three more ceiling pieces and a door to finish out our little shack here. Oh, we, actually, no, we, we already made this one. So, okay, this one I'm putting right here. So here again, if we can look out and attack from there, that side. Uh, so now just three more walls. Okay, so we can make two more walls here. <clears throat> we get those in place, and then we'll see where we're at. I think, um, yeah, we should be able to make our, our final wall and probably maybe a ceiling, too, unless ceiling takes ten nails, which it might. Does the ceiling take ten nails? Where the heck is the ceiling at right here? It it does so once we make the fourth or, or you know the final wall I guess I should say I don't think we'll have enough to make a ceiling so we'll have to do a little bit more grinding so yeah we're just gonna put solid walls here and if I discovered that they can fight directly from the water we might change things up later but remember too this is just a starter base it's not gonna stay this way uh, the whole time uh, but just something to get us get us going. Get us going. And then we'll make the BCU and we'll start making the um, implements from the BCU, starting, of course, with the wood burner, uh, because that's going to be far superior to this campfire. And we'll keep our fire burning longer, among other, uh, amongst other things. So we're just waiting for these two boards, and then we can get our final wall built. And we want to have, you know, the ceiling in place, too, because... Um, it's going to be required, you know, for covering things. And the hunters can lob grenades and molotovs uh, over the top of the wall into your base. So you definitely want to have a ceiling, too. But we're getting close. Okay, we have the final wall. Let's, let's pop that in place. And look at that. All right, so just three more ceiling pieces, ladies and gentlemen, and then we'll be ready for the BCU. Uh, so we're going to need a total of 30 more nails for that, and then the rest of it's not a big deal. And, uh, yeah, so I guess what I'll do now is cut the camera and how much time we have. Yeah, we have a little more time for this episode still. So I'm going to cut the camera here, wait till morning, and then uh, go out and do, you know, do some more looting and stuff. And then I'll bring you back again with an update uh, in just a little bit. All right, guys, we are back and on our way home. We had a really successful run there. Um, lots of meat bringing back. And uh, not sure if we have enough nails to finish out. We needed 30 in total. Um, just looking to see if there's any seaweed nearby. There's a piece right there. But let's get this um, meat on the fire before we do anything else. Oopsie daisy. Okay, so put that in there, ignite, 
Uh, these are our oldest pieces up here. And then a couple of these animals are still alive, which means they're going to stay fresh for us, which is fantastic. We got 29 nails. Did I leave any here? I didn't. We're short. <laughs> We're short one damn nail. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. We've. Uh, I can't complain about that little trip. That went really well. All right, let's put some of this stuff in here for now. And uh, we are doing well. We even got some magnum rounds. Put all that in there, all that in there. Okay, so we're just waiting for uh, this one. Uh, I don't remember now. I, we should be able to get them all cooked up before they go bad, though. So, uh, so let's get this meat cooked, and then um, I'm going to do a, a quick sweep of the island here and see uh, what else there might be to loot. We are definitely low on protein, so let's eat all of this right now, and that should probably get us pretty much all the way back to the top. Uh, we're going to have to eat some seaweed for our carbs, which are pretty low, so let's eat four of those, and that'll get us back up there. It's not going to get us all the way back up, but it'll get us close. Uh, we might as well butcher and kill these guys too, and that can all go in there. And then we'll just wait for this meat here to to cook, and I'll put the last two pieces in. Then we'll go out and grab a couple of trees, or maybe we'll go grab that seaweed that we saw. Okay, so that one's done. That one's done. And we'll put these two in and grab the rabbit. Okay, cool. Now let's uh, let's run, uh, jump down and get that seaweed that's right down here. Get those carbs up. And I'm going to eat one more rabbit just to get our protein all the way up. Uh, let's drink this and refill it. It is so nice to live right next to water. Uh, if you guys watched season one, you know what I'm talking about. Because we were not near water in season one and it was a pain in the ass. Okay. Uh, since these are getting pretty close, let's just wait for them to finish too so I don't forget and allow them to burn. We don't want that to happen. Excellent. Okay. Um, so let's uh, see what's on the island and get these these trees harvested again. And then we'll see. Uh, we'll, we should be able to make two of our three roofs with what we have left. And then let's have to wait for one more nail unless we luck out and have a crate here on the island that'll have nails in it yeah I'm, I'm thinking this doesn't work on the island so I think we're gonna move this to the mainland there's it, it definitely should have captured an animal by now I mean it's probably been I don't know three or four in-game days since I put that thing down and I've never seen them take that long Maybe it's just because the, the small animals don't spawn on the island. I've never seen one on this island. We've seen a couple of large animals. I, I've had a bear and a deer spawn on the island, but I haven't never noticed a small animal spawn. Um, and we're not going to go uh, over on that side. And the reason for that is because if this game works the way I've been told it works... And meaning unofficially, so I, I can't say for sure that it works this way. But usually I think what happens, what I, my understanding is, when you set the BCU on your base, the hunters, you, you're going to get three hunter, separate hunter groups that will spawn in. And so if I put the BCU um, like on the west wall of my base, then the hunters will spawn kind of in an arc around uh, uh, to the west. Now, again, I don't know if that is 100% accurate, uh, but it did sort of kind of seem that way uh, in Season 1. So we'll we'll see if that's actually how it turns out. Okay, so let's grab these nails here. We grab the boards, um, and or rather the wood, and let's make some boards. We're going to need 10, so that's 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So that'll give us 11. And we already have plenty of cordage, and then we should be able to make 
two of our three roofs. So let's just uh, wait for those to finish. I don't see any critters across the way here. Let's just run over here real quick and see if we can luck out and find one more crate with some males in it before it gets too dark. Oh, no, never mind. There's a damn wolf. Something always spawns right there on the shore. Either a bear or a wolf. Uh, in fact, there is a bear and a wolf there. <laughs> but let's see if we can just kind of get around them and look real quick. I mean, it's going to get dark real fast, so this is just going to be a quick check. Uh, any seaweed nearby or kelp? No, nothing that I can see down here. Nah, I'm not seeing anything and it's getting too dark, so... All right, well, I'm going to lumberjack my way back to the island, and then when we get back, uh, we'll make our final two roof pieces. Or, or, well, no, we'll make two more roof pieces, and then we'll have one final one to, to finish. Oh, here's a crate. And it's a building crate. I don't know if that was there before and I just missed it or what. Huzzah! Look at that. Okay, we got the nails. We got the nails that we need to finish our build. That's awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and make two of these. Uh, three of these. Yep, there we go. All right. Fan freaking tastic, guys. Fan freaking tastic. Um, so the only thing that's left now is a door. And that's, uh, that should be fairly easy peasy. What do we need for a door? Oh, we, uh, I don't have any wood left in here though, do I? Yeah, we almost have enough to even do that, but not quite. There, let's keep that stoked. Okay. Let's put our roof pieces in place. Ceiling pieces, roof pieces. Step on the fire. Uh, right. It was snapping a second ago. No, not there. Okay, here. We can do this. There we go. All right, look at this. We now have a fully enclosed place. So we just got to get a door in place. Then we are going to do the BCU. So that is coming up in the next episode. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.